Good morning and uh, welcome, of course, to our Sunrise Qigong. Today's form is going to be the Yi Jing uh, Qigong form. And this is a form that's all the Qigong that I share is dear to my heart. Uh, it was all mostly shared to me uh, by my teacher. This one was actually created, um, designed and created by my teacher uh, when she was early on in her practice, early on in her doctorate. Um, and uh, the Yi Jing uh, refers to, uh, it's also called the Yi Ching, uh, but it's basically a set of, um, they're called trigrams and hexagrams, meaning three and then six. And they're uh, the study of, of all of the changes of nature all contained within uh, 64 of these hexagrams. Um, and that's the, the philosophy that arises out of it all is is contained inside of that that uh, that circle of sixty four, and so she created this uh, qigong uh, form to symbolize and to represent and to take us through uh, not necessarily all sixty four, but the ebb and the flow that happens and the changes that are contained in that um, uh, kind of calendar. Uh, so. The cool thing about it is that it also takes us through our warmups all at the same time. We go through warmups and the, the form all contained in the same um, little vessel. So before we jump into there, though, I'd like to get really uh, familiar with the chi again uh, this morning. And the best way to do that is to root and ground and to open up to the, the heavens with our column of light. And then we'll do a pulling down heaven set uh, to really root us into our feet. Just letting the breath move gently in and out. Start to move more internally. You can do this with your eyes open, or with soft gaze, or with them closed. Um, I like to play with all three of those and kind of see how I experience my cheek. But I start to descend my sensation down into my feel and notice the soles of my feet connect to the floor. This is how we root and interact with the earth. And this is where our opportunity for this nourishment, exchange, release, um, refilling, this is where it, it happens. So in our mind's eye, we can imagine these feet almost like blocks of ice on a hot sidewalk. And of course, they begin to melt in that state melting into pools of water, these blocks of ice melt into wider and wider pools, creating almost one great pool of feet. And then the soles of the feet start to grow these roots that reach down through anything man-made down to the foundation, down into the earth's crust, reaching down towards the earth's core, feel this descending of the roots brings about a more awareness in the legs, the pelvis. As we descend, we can feel more in our torso, feel more in our shoulders, our head. And of course, Mother Earth really enjoys our interaction and participation. She vibrates those roots with this golden energy that rises and fills like an elixir, fills up into the feet, fills up into the legs, filling the whole torso down into the arms. To the top of the head. Notice and feel this opening at the top of the head that can retract and kind of dilate giving access up into the heavens with this silver light that rises out of the top of our head, shining out to interact with the planets, all the galaxies. All that twinkling energy shines down in through that opening, down into the body, shining in, mixing with all that earth energy from down to the roots. And we notice and feel this golden light start to wrap around us. 
enveloping us like a great column. This golden light acts as a filter, letting only brilliant and uplifting things to shine in and support, keeping us from any distractions, any deterrence, any resistance. We notice and feel this golden energy expanding and widening, thickening, filling the space where we are, expanding beyond that as our imagination allows, expanding to fill the city, to fill the country, to fill the world on. To notice and be inside of this protected space. Feel rooted deeply, feel connected up into the heavens. Yeah, there's our chi. Now let's comb through it. And as we do this version of pulling down heavens, we're going to comb through not only our body, but we're going to comb through this great field of energy that we just recognize as we expanded our column of light. Having a gentle bend in the knees, relaxing the low back, letting the shoulders relax down, letting the neck be long, letting the arms float off at the side of the body. As we gather chi that's around us, as we comb through our field, it's nice to recognize how much bigger we are, meaning how much more we interact with as we move through our, our life and our day. So as we comb through, we're gonna comb through the front of us first and recognize that it's our humanity that's out in front of us, that we project out, that we interact with, that we walk into. Our second breath will comb through the back of us with our integrity, all the places we've been, all that we've interacted with, all that we've done. With our third breath will be our authenticity, bringing us right directly into the present. And then we'll step up into a uh, change form. We're using our hands to gather, we gather our humanity. This idea of a purity, a cleaning and a clearing, of a resolving, this energy that will bring softness. We inhale it up over the head and just gently comb it through the front of us, through our humanity. Feeling an ease and the pressure out in front of us. Second breath takes us through our integrity. Allow ourselves to gather the chi around, to gather our integrity, to gather our purity knowing that all that's happened, all that we've gone through has been a necessary component to give us this particular moment. So we appreciate and we have gratitude as we comb through our integrity, all the way down the back of the legs, down to the heels, try and feel it in your body. For our final breath, it's our authenticity our opportunity to be in the present moment between the future and the past. We do it with gentleness, we do it with ease, we just allow ourselves with gratitude and appreciation to calm through our authentic self. Out the feet out those roots into the earth with any resistance. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Shake out your hands and your wrists and do your little chicken wings and kick your legs too. And we'll begin with our Yijing. And like I mentioned, it has contained within it all the warmups that our joints will need, that our meridians will need. Uh, to activate, to prepare, and then to take us um, through the full arc of the, of the form. She was smart, um, very, very smart, brilliant, my teacher, um, Dr. Friedman. And uh, uh, this form was originally created to hand to practitioners, um, new medical Qigong practitioners, acupuncturists, 
um, people who needed to really bolster their chi because they were going to be giving it, they were going to be serving. And we really all um, can benefit from this because all of us find ourselves in service in some way, um, giving of ourselves to our friends, to our loved ones. And so we deserve to have a tool, a function to replenish, to um, prepare for more grounded service in the future. So we bring our feet together, have that nice gentleness in the knees and in the, in the pelvis, in the low back and the shoulders. Let our neck be nice and long. We inhale and allow our arms to just drift up overhead. And as we exhale, we bring our hands down to the thighs, right on right above uh, the kneecaps. We're not gonna rest on the thighs. We're totally engaged in our core. We're just, um, just lightly touching. And here we'll do our knee circles. And as we inhale, we circle in one direction three times. Nice and slow, so we can fill our whole fit, our whole inhale. And as we complete that third one, we switch directions and we exhale again, just as slow, trying to lengthen that exhale. As we get around, we do another set of inhaling in our original direction three times. Feeling the hips, feeling the knees, maybe pop. And then three in the opposite direction as we exhale. We'll do this for one more set. Inhaling three circles. And into the exhale, three circles. Good, standing up straight. Allowing the hands to come up to the low back, making either soft fists so you can kind of cross over your fingers, whatever's kind of comfortable for your hands. The soft fists are comfortable for me, so I tend to stick there, but my feet are still right next to each other. If it feels like, oh, this is a little bit too, feel free to go um, a little bit wider with the feet and feel more stable in your, um, in your pelvis. Uh, but now we want to go and warm the pelvis itself and the low back. We do this with a nice um, spine stretch. The inhale, growing tall through the legs, growing tall through the spine, tall through the top of the head. And exhale, leaning over to one side, doesn't matter which one you get to pick. As we lean over, we immediately come front, trying to elongate our exhale. As we come to the other side, we look forward before we come up to center and inhale then, bring us back up to center. And we exhale back into our feet, relaxing down into the frame of our body. We inhale to grow tall again, this time the opposite side. Exhaling to tip over and roll forward, feeling under the hands, the low back untying and unwinding through this long exhale. Coming to the opposite side, inhaling to come up and exhaling into the feet. I can wiggle my toes and really get myself down here. Otherwise, I'll start to stay too much up in my torso with this one. I want to keep my feet to grow nice and tall. Exhaling over, rolling forward. I want to do three of these in either direction. So I have a total of six. This is our third one. Inhale coming up. Exhale. We grow tall. Opposite direction for the exhale, rolling forward. Inhaling up. Exhaling into the feet, relaxing, gentle knees. Knees kind of straighten out as we lengthen and as we roll. This helps stretch the hamstrings and the low back. Then we want to come back into that gentle relaxation as we as we come back to the feet because um, we're, we're being gentle. Grow tall one more time on the side, inhaling, exhaling, bend over and around, really feeling that melting happening. Q L's, director's name. 
Inhale and come up. Exhale into the feet. Last one. And relax. Now we can take a wider stance. We can step out and then step out again. Go into a stance a little bit wider than shoulder width. And now we're going to bring one of those hands from the back to the front and effectively um, grasp the torso. Do a nice hug with our hands. So now my hands are going to be both open at the back of the head uh, against my back and my palm against my front. I'm about at the level of the navel or a little higher. My knees are relaxed so that my tailbone tucks under, my shoulders relax back, my neck is nice and tall. And I'm going to follow that back elbow. It's going to be the direction that I turn to throw out this, this net, this uh, yeah, it's like this scoop, this collecting bag uh, to collect this sea of chi that surrounds us at the level of our waist. We use this opportunity to, to throw out, fill, and bring back in to condense into the core, into the kidneys, um, more energy, more life force. We follow that back elbow to start. Inhaling, we pivot around the spine, Led by that back elbow, we extend our arms out, throwing out that net, feeling it fill. Just as our lungs are full, we begin the exhale about halfway through our rotation. We bring that experience of filled web and pull it back into our torso and we wrap it around so that our hands come back to their original position. Get comfortable in the Feet again, it could be an inhale, exhale, and then inhale again to follow that back elbow. Pivoting around the spine, throwing that net out, coming full about halfway through your circle so that you can exhale and concentrate it back in the body. Do this six, time on the, six times on each side, or third on this side. Once the movement in the body starts to make sense, allow yourself to feel the pressure, feel the pull in your palms on the ambient sheet that's around that you're collecting. One more. This side and then we'll switch. Feel yourself pressing it into the torso, feel it saturate in. Now we'll just guide it, glide along our, our torso here and switch our hands, kind of keeping in contact. It's nice to uh, touch. Don't always, often get a lot of touch in the different parts of our body. So it's nice to, I like with this Qigong, how much we get to kind of paint and 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 smooth um, along the surface of the body. So again, we're going to follow that back arm. We're gentle on our knees. Our tailbone's relaxed because our butt's relaxed. Neck is nice and tall. We pivot on the spine, inhaling, throwing the arms out, throwing the net out, gathering up all this wonderful chi. Exhaling as we wrap it around. You can notice that your inhales and exhales can lengthen a little bit, you can slow it down. Uh, we've done this a few times, the body starts to acclimate. Four more. So 
especially when I can feel the sensations of the chi, I get so serious. Get so focused on the inside. This is a gentle, loving practice. It's good to remember that. It's good to lighten up. I do my spontaneous Qigong class. One more. Nine o'clock. I like to jump around and wiggle and jiggle just to break up the chi. No wiggling and jiggling in the middle of this form. That's okay. Um, even without that, um, she, my uh, wonderful teacher, Dr. Friedman, she uh, she designed some full expression of the chi and the meridians anyway. It's pretty cool. All right, so we keep our wider stance as we are and bring our back hand to the front. Put it right on top of that front hand. Now we've got a little um, sandwich between our two magnets and pressing into the area just above the navel. So we're going to go ahead and descend to the lower dantian, which is just above the pubic bone um, below the navel. And this will be where we initiate. Now we're, uh, we're supporting the, the kidneys and our ability to fill and to nourish and to saturate through the feet and into the central aspect of the body and to bring things into us and to pack it into the middle. And so now that we've got this resource of, of kidney support that we've filled with, we're going to bring it to its fullest expression, which is to come in and make a house for the heart. The heart is fire. In order for fire to exist in us, we need to have ample amounts of water, which is what we just filled the kidneys and the bones with. Now we're going to pull water up to the fire um, seat in the heart, and then we're going to draw steam from the heart seat back down to, uh, to our lower dantian. And we'll do this nine times, the nine um, movements. To think if I follow this, we inhale, exhale, inhale. Yeah, we do. And then the ninth time will end up actually up here in front of the heart and we'll extend out into the next move. So gentleness in the knees, gentle in the low back, melting in the shoulder blades, lengthening in the neck, feeling the ears connected by a little bar and the string coming down to the top of the head, pulling that bar up. Good. We inhale and just glide those hands as if they pivot on one point that connects them. We glide those hands right up to about the level of the collarbone. Full of breath, we hang out here for a minute, feeling ourselves a little forward on the toes. And then we exhale, descending the hands back down to the original while we feel ourselves kind of push back onto the heels. Inhale and rise up. Starting to bring our mind's eye to the elemental function, which is bringing water into this fiery area. And their interaction has created steam that we let descend back down. Let yourself feel it in your torso. Feel it in your pelvis as you bring it down. Rising, bringing that water up. Exhaling to come back onto the heels. Water rises again. Sends one final time with the steam. rising that water one final time into the heart to this fiery domain and then we take that steam directly out straight out from the chest the arms come straight out the hands pull that steam straight out and it extends the arms that steam pushes the hands away extends the arms out as wide as they go which is just to our side body Good. We're still gentle on our knees, still gentle in the pelvis, still gentle in the neck. As we inhale, we gather everything beneficial 
warm, warm-hearted, loving, filling and supportive for the heart, pericardium, this fire element. As we exhale, we just radiate off any anxiety, any guilt, any restriction, any resistance to life flow, love flowing through us. As we inhale, we fill with more love, more pink, more red, more of this fire of light that burns in this seat in the heart. As we exhale, we steam off anything that's resistant to the flow. Four more times. Really let yourself see and feel your hands collecting, filling with purity, upliftance, brilliance, steaming off any resistance, darkness, destruction, be it emotional or physical or mental or spiritual, letting it steam off, making space for more filling. Each successive inhale feels a little lighter, a little softer, a little fresher in the chest. Each time we steam off, it's a little less dense, it's a little less leaving, a little less to be let go. And using the fingers, kind of tickle and grab any heavier, energy that hasn't steamed its way off and we can use that to pull off this last expression. Fill one final time. Also remove any resistance one final time. Letting ourselves just shine and be the pure fire that is our heart. Hands come back out wide sides lateral to our body, our palms facing up. We inhale and gather chi over the head. It's like our grape pulling down heavens. Feel that chi between our palms, we feel it above our heads, our shoulders are relaxed. We exhale, we melt and pull this chi all through the body. We allow ourselves to soften in the knees and soften in the back so that we can follow this melting and actually bend over down towards the floor. As we're down here, use our hands to gather the chi of the earth and we pull it up the feet and up the front of the legs. Feel ourselves pulling chi up as we inhale this completely. We go over the top of the head and come behind to grab a hold before we start to exhale. Grabbing a hold of what I just put over my head. And now I'm gonna pull it down towards my heels as I exhale. Again, I'm keeping my knees in an easy bend and my back in then I'm listening to what my body wants to do, but I'm trying to go for the floor if I can. The inhale, gathering, pulling up the front of me, creating almost this cocoon. I'm wrapping over the front of me, over the top of back of my head, and then pulling down my back and the back of my legs as I exhale, letting it go through my heels, and gather in the front again. Do this one nine times for the three. Inhaling completely to come up over the top of the head, grasping and pulling down, letting go into the earth to exhale. Really allowing myself to feel the substance of the cheek. Feel this envelope that I'm and half creating, but also just half moving through. It's almost like it's already there. Such an abundance of chi, but never wanting for the sensation. It's always right there for us. It's subtle though, so we have to allow it to give us information. 
little bit stronger in the legs, stronger definitely in the core. Last one. Still, I want to gather just a little bit in the hands as we stand up to bring it right to the level of the waist. Relax into the legs. Inhale and exhale here with our palms facing up. And the shoulder blades relax again. Let the neck be long. Knees relax. Pelvis wiggling the toes. Good. This latter half of the form, it's about interacting with the extremes. Uh, we were uh, interacting with the opposites um, to create the steam of life. We had water filling into the fiery place and then clearing out our, our fiery kiln um, so that pure steam is moving through us. Now we're going to um, experience the duality nature of our, our deepest sources, yin and the yang is what the, the, the Chinese medicine words are for these. Um, but our representation is going to be the moon and the sun. And so as our palms are facing up and we inhale, we're imagining and feeling in our back, the sun rise from the level of our sacrum, heat up every spinous process of our vertebrae to crest over the top of the head, and then to uh, move into dusk and sunset um, at the level of our mouth, where then the moon will rise as we will flip our hands and move down the front of the body and the moon uh, will descend uh, and light up the central channel of our, of our torso and underneath the pelvis before the sun will rise again as we inhale, all right? So here we are at the waist with our palms facing up. And we inhale, imagining and feeling that warm sun rise up, bring warmth to the whole spine and up to the very crown of the head, the forehead to the face, rolling the hands to face the floor. We exhale, the moon rises, crosses the sky, and sends coming the sun. One for nine circuits. Second circuit, seven more. Noticing a tendency to want to come forward onto the toes as the sun moves up over the spine and to retreat back onto the heels as the moon moves across the sky. Back to that visualization if you find your mind wanting to wander. Feel the sensation of the warm sun and the cool night air of the moon. Three more. Last one, 
my head based on my expression. My cool moon replenishes and refills and saturates, rejuvenates. I'll take that momentum that was circling up my back down my front and I'll place it right into my lower dot tan, right into that low place, one hand over top of the other. And to really settle in some strength and some vitality into this lower dot tan, as well as its counterpart, the Ming Mun, or the, the gate of fire in the low back. Uh, we have a, a standing pose, actually two standing poses. Well, it's the same one with two variations um, that finishes off this form, uh, this, this brilliant form that Dr. Friedman created, and uh, can be tiring to the shoulders. And so there are um, some alternative ways to do it if you find that holding your arms out to the side, which is what we'll do. We'll be holding it out here for nine breaths in one direction and then um, facing up to the sky again for nine more breaths. It can be really tiring for the shoulders and for the chest. And so you can um, bend your elbows and get a lot of the same kind of feeling and support, especially when you direct it with your mind. Um, even though the form is kind of to be out here straight, which is where I'll be demonstrating. But you don't have to be all the way out there, especially if, like I say, if your shoulders um, and your arms are like, eh, eh, that's uncomfortable. She so goes about gentleness and it's about feeling good. It's not about pushing and discomfort. So again, we have that gentleness in our knees, that relaxation in the, in the pelvis, that melting of the shoulders and a nice long spine. This makes it so that as we inhale and allow our arms to come out to the sides, we actually want to do facing the ceiling first. We can exhale, allow our palms to rotate, supinate, and face up at the ceiling. Again, letting your elbows bend if this is too much. And as we inhale now, we're inhaling through our palms. We're drawing energy in through and down into this um, this life gate fire. So we can actually feel it coming through and coming down the back or coming through the torso and ending up back here in the back. That's where the life gate fire is. And we'll do this for nine breaths. So we inhale, drawing that lightning energy as well as the sun, as well as the galaxies into that low back. And then exhale and really feel it um, saturate, feel it compress and be held in place in, the, in the, the fashion that it's designed. And we inhale and exhale and let it fill and give us sensation of warmth and presence and steadfastness, inhaling and exhaling, letting the breath try and lengthen and incorporate this filling visualization and this experience of being full and if we want to stay really focused with our breath we can do this for nine breaths but me talking has kind of missed the cadence so we'll just stay here for a few more breaths and then we'll switch and start filling from the earth this is the yang energy this is that fiery heart filling um, momentum creating a motive force that moves through the body. This is the yang. Still feel the feet, still notice this kind of radiance. But even though we're filling into the life gate, it spills over and it fills all the way through the body and down through the feet and those roots into the earth. Good, allow your hands to switch position. We pronate, now we're facing the ground with our palms. Again, if the shoulders, the chest are tired, allow yourself to relax into that, uh, that easy fold position with the bent elbow. Again, we're going to inhale and we're gonna fill this time with yin energy, which feels very different. And it fills up the undersides of the arms, it fills into the chest and it fills down the torso and it fills into that dantian. 
with a weight, with gravity um, presenting itself even more distinctly into our torso. Inhale, we exhale, allow it to saturate and compress. And we can feel the Mingman, that light gate fire in the back, still activated and now a wonderful contrast to help balance out what we're compressing into the front. This is yin energy, and so it's cooler, it's colder, it's heavier, it's denser, and just as essential to the steam that we created to create life earlier in the form. We inhale completely and fully, and we exhale and allow it to compress feeling that pressure and that presence in the low belly, below the navel, feeling it juxtaposed with the life gate fire in the back, feeling strong in the front and the backs of the feet, the heels and the toes. A couple more breaths, filling and compressing, saturating the lower dantian, letting the shoulders relax and the neck be long. Then on an inhale, we descend our arms, aching and activated as they are. We hold this beach ball in front of the belt, this half deflated beach ball we hold in front of the belt. We feel all that activation on the underside of the arms, this type of strength that we don't often pay attention to. So often we pay attention to the shoulders and the outsides of the arms if we're lifting things or pushing things. This is different, there's a different strength that actually benefits those other types of movement, um, but doesn't get a lot of activation, these yin channels. Feel that all the way through inside of this beach ball. And go ahead and descend your hands right on top of the Dantian, one on top of the other. Inhale and exhale here, relax into the knees. Notice and feel the top of your head, the soles of your feet. Notice and feel your sacrum, bottom of your spine, between your shoulder blades. Notice the neck, base of your skull. Good, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, shake it out. That's our Yijing form. To complete um, today, I want to do one more um, kind of pulling down heavens to really bring all this chi that we generated around us. I mean, we did a lot of uh, saturating and filling and gathering and putting in. And as we do that, we actually generate chi as well. We're generating constantly. But when we put our awareness and focus deeper in, it generates even more of an abundance. So we want to gather a lot of that back and put it into our bio battery to take us through the day and through the week. Um, so let's be a little more specific about our stance um, right as we finish. And we'll go into what's called Wuji posture, which is very specific, but still very similar to what we were standing in for the meeting. With Wuji posture, we've got the outside edges of our feet are parallel, which make our toes just a little bit pigeon toed. We have a nice gentle bend in the knees. And this um, angled um, tendency with the toes, actually that makes the outside edges parallel, it opens up the pelvis, it opens up the sacrum. Um, and so when we bend the knees, there's this little gentle kind of sit into that opening. Um, as that happens, we can feel if our shoulders are slumped um, and uh, take that information to melt those shoulder blades back and feel the neck also wants to grow tall, which is actually a tucking of the chin for that to happen. As the neck moves up and is pulled up into the ceiling, there's a little hollow in the armpits that wants to take place. So the elbows kick out off of the body, creating a nice buffer of chi um, between the torso and the arms. So we use our little magic magnet hands. We'll really expand them and gather all of this ambient chi into a point that's right out from the third eye. We'll gather it all there into a nice beach ball size and then we'll put it right into our Dantian, our bio battery. Inhale, gathering, sweeping the arms out. 
feeling the presence of all this chi, feeling it collect, feeling yourself be on top of this giant chi bubble that just sucks into that spot, just drops right in there without any effort other than the drifting of gravity. Gather again. And send it into the Dantian. Final time. Hang out, notice and feel. Keep the gentleness. Good. Feel cradled in gravity, feel supported by the earth. Feel suspended by the heavens. They create this natural uprightness between them, within us, without any effort. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> All right, thanks for joining me for some Sunrise Qigong for helping me to go through a really nostalgic uh, Qigong set. Um, I miss my teacher a lot and uh, I love when I get to picture her and remember her and hear her in my mind as I share with you. Um, and so thanks very much. I'll see you all next week.